At the University of Melbourne, we've created a way for the first time to visually map and measure the soft power of museums. We have collaborated with the Australian Centre for the Moon Image to globally map ACMI's resources, outputs and outcomes. The system maps the data in five layers. The first layer maps ACMI International Collection Appeal Power based on culture and language. The more intense the green, the greater the appeal power. As you can see, the collection appeals strongly in North America, Europe and the Asia-Pacific. The second layer is online engagement power and it maps ACMI's online global audiences. The varied intensity of the blue indicates that the majority of these audiences are coming from developed countries in Europe and North America. The Asia-Pacific appears relatively untapped. If we move down, we come to the global connectivity power layer. And here we map ACMI's in relationship with 180 organizations around the world. We can see that ACMI is strongly connected with museums in the United States and many European countries. Its relationships in the Asia-Pacific are still emerging. The next layer, Local Engagement Power, maps the international tours of ACMI exhibitions. It correlates visitation data with multiple variables across different sets of data. Finally, we have the Melbourne Engagement Power layer that maps ACMI's local audiences. Here a map of Melbourne is divided in 200 postcodes. We can see from the intensity of the green that the majority of ACMI's audiences come from the central area in the city. So there you have it. ACMI mapped across various dimensions of soft power, providing the museum with a key information for strategic planning and development.